All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Rad TV, and today I have a really special, special guest, uh, my good friend and very talented and gorgeous Victoria, who's an SFX makeup artist of South Florida, and she'll be joining us momentarily. And we're gonna chat with her, catch up, everything will be fun. Enjoy, guys. So let's see, she should be um, joining any second. There we go. Now we got it. Yep, we're doing that. Welcome to the Rad TV. I mean, Rad Talks. That's what it is, Rad Talks. Oh, that's what we're doing now. That I thought of it. Cool. So it's Rad Live just means like you have to be live. And I'm like, what? Rad Talks, dude. (laughs) I like that word. Yeah. So sweet. Um, So tell everybody out here that they'll be watching this who you are. And what you do. That's so cool. Okay. Um, my name is Victoria Beachler. Um, a lot of people just call me Tori. Um, and I am a professional makeup artist and I specialize in special effects makeup. Awesome. So mostly in what type of like special effects makeup, like genre? I specialize in like more horror makeup. Um, I do some fantasy, but my like... Mm-hmm. whole thing i'm known as the gore goddess the gore goddess wow I was, uh, I was, that's I cool name. Did that title and i was like this is mine now so. and you know the gore goddess yeah dude <laughs> that's me that's me that's that's that one girl victoria yeah she's the gore goddess for everyone out there mm-hmm. and how long have you actually been doing this right now so um my first gig like my first actual gig i got when i was 13 mm-hmm. and that was a long time ago <laughs> Wait, that long ago yeah yeah i've been doing this for probably about 14 years wow 14 yeah i've been skating i lost track <laughs> <laughs> yeah I skating probably okay i started when i was eight years old i'm 30 now yeah damn that's a long time yeah that is so people were like, oh, are you a legend? Are you pro yet? I'm like, yeah, about that. Definitely. No, but 100%. Tony Hawk's my buddy. You know, so <laughs> you know, know who I am on hey, Instagram. You're better skater than I am. I'll give you that. Yeah, it's one of those things. <laughs> right. you know, as long I just, as I can do it, that's all I'm happy. Yeah, you know, I almost died on like a baby half pipe the other day. So, <laughs> You know what happens? I almost died on a, on a little pebble. That you know what that happens though. Like that's like I can't even blame you for that. Nobody no. who actually skates can blame me for that because pebbles no. suck. <laughs> that's the worst, especially if you happen to see a cute girl out there and you're about to make a move and you just hit the pebble and fall. And yeah, that's uh that's the end of that story. I would pay to watch you do that. <laughs> it's happens, but not in similar situations. <laughs> As long as it happens in the pu- it happened in the public, let's in just the say. Public. And uh, thankfully, nobody was watching. But yeah, that's one of those things. Uh, what else? What else? So you did 14 years. How did you actually get into it in the first place? That's the big question. Um, all right. So it's kind of weird because um, my brother is 16 years older than me. Yeah. And um, he majored at, um, he was a film major. So he often got a lot of like projects for school that he needed to watch like a bunch of movies and do research and all that stuff. Um, And I would end up watching like all of these really awesome, like old school horror movies with him. And um, I was about three. So to make sure I didn't get scared, he would um, put on like the behind the scenes. So I got to watch like, all of these awesome makeup artists applying makeup and doing these really great movies. And um, I just fell in love with it. Like I knew that's what I was going to do from the time I was three. And um, you know, most girls get into their parents' makeup and uh, they're like, I'm beautiful. I'm a princess. And I was like, mom, wound. Is this a wound? Do you see this? I got hurt. It's blood. It's bloody. And then from there, I started, my mom got me like a bruise wheel, like a Ben Nye bruise wheel and a Ben yeah. Nye, um, a Ben Nye burn wheel, which is like different colors that um, you could use for like specific things. Right. And, uh, 
I started messing around with, you know, putting the makeup on my friends. And it got to a point where one of my friends was like, this looks real. Like I'm going to go try something. And we were all skating back then. And he Decided. asked me to do the makeup and I did. And his mom actually called 911. <laughs> <She> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's a true story. She flat out was like, Oh my God, like this is so bad. I think it was like a huge gash in his face or something. Yeah. And, like, no, 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 it's not real. It's not real. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. So that was that was fun to explain. Well, that that's an <laughs> ultimate prank uh skill right there, too. Ah, uh, yeah. What are you thinking? Is I you know I I try to get my kids with it too, but they're just like mom, like they're so don't, used to it now. Don't do I get I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> you can do it, yeah, she's gonna do here. it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I mean, see, hey, can't have some sort of fun. I bet you April, April Fools is probably the bomb. It used to be, and now I just get people that are like, "Hey, hey, can you do this for free?" It's like, hey, hey, no. this is what I want. Yeah, it's like no. You're free. You buying dinner? <laughs> or, I, keep- uh, I still have like a two hundred dollar deposit just staring out there. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a safety fee. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, what has been some of your all right? It's gonna be like three parts. Your proudest works, and you're not so proudest, and probably craziest. Oh, okay. So, um, one of the proudest things that I've done, um, I've done like lifetime movies, I've done music videos, I've done public and private events, I've done movies, I've done um, short film projects, um, body painting, anything that you could think of. Um, But my proudest kind of, I think my proudest title would definitely be um, being the lead makeup artist at Enigma Haunt, which is like a huge achievement. So. I'm very, very proud of that, but yeah, that's, that's a, a lot of work. Yeah, Yo, there's a Yo, lot. Big Mahana is it's a sick haunted house every year. They go in October. They open up two floors. Insane. Three haunts. Yeah. Three haunts. Two floors. Indoors. Yeah. Lots of scares. You'll get it's scared awesome. if you say you don't get scared. You gonna get scared. Yeah. Because you go. Yeah, and it's it's a lot of fun. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> and I then. <laughs> My uh, not so proudest um, would be kids face painting parties. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, just please hold still. Like, just be real quick. Yeah. Your eye. Sorry, your eyes is the yeah. thing on your eye. You, uh, son, your son might be suffering from it, I think. And then the parents are like, it doesn't look like this Paw Patrol character. And you're just like, it's because I don't know what Paw Patrol is. <laughs> No. You understand, I do not watch Paw Patrol. I don't watch Paw I have children, and my children are like, turn this off. <laughs> like, what is Paw Patrol? Yeah. Uh, no, no. You know what Beavis it's, and Butthead is? You better. They do know what Beavis and Butthead is because Freaking Jack up. has 3D. <laughs> but they have seen Beavis and Butthead World Tour. No, wait. Is it, is no, it? do America. Do America. Sorry. Yes. That's the one. Come on now. That, that is the must watch. Yeah, any, definitely the best. Even the of all, yeah, things. Awesome. Um, what are some? Hmm, oh yeah, what are some the people that play in your life? The craziest. Oh, thing the craziest. Ever. We're yeah. missing. I was like, I knew well, there was. I thought you said. <laughs> okay, scratch that. The craziest. <laughs> Calm down, Diego. Um, <laughs> the craziest. Um, I had to do a, a music video. Mm-hmm. Actually, no. I would say that the craziest, most outlandish gig I've ever done. Outlandish, like insane. Like, it was for a short film. And basically, I had to make the guy into a reindeer, kind of. There was exploding pus in it and just... A, oh, yeah, it, I have seen that one. You, you did, and you hated it. Because was, it was, it was like... It was so out there but it was so beautifully done with like the editing and the production team so much went into it and like everyone there just had such a huge passion for like 
making these films. And um, I, that film was actually nominated and is in the running, like top three um, in the Sick and Wrong Film Festival for wow. the um, most gut wrenching effects. Hey. <laughs> literally gut wrenching effects yeah wild though uh, so that was that was probably the craziest there was exploding mayonnaise uh, is that what it was man <laughs> it was mayonnaise. Oh, it was, yeah it was gross wow that's oh yeah. I like, uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> yeah so, oh god have you ever seen those videos that of people popping actual pimples and they're like I have, and i hate it every time it's just gross i bought my own but that's just that's all my story but seeing it is different i'm like dude that's just that's just raw man please like, don't do that like i can't i don't want people popping it but that has nothing compared to that yeah no so that's that well that covers that part and what about people that actually inspire you in your career and in life in general right like role models okay so um as far as career wise the people that inspire me would be rick baker who was the makeup artist for american werewolf in london um mm -hmm. i don't know if you've seen it but like that insane transformation scene where David is just turning into like this werewolf and you see his face stretching and oh, it was awesome. And then um, the other one that I would have to say is Howard Berger. Howard Berger. Yeah, wow. he's awesome. In case you didn't know, he was the, one of the makeup artists who worked on, um, he was with K, he is with K and BFX, which works with um, like the Walking Dead and stuff. Oh, for real? Damn. Yeah, he actually made the one character that like, I woke up and I saw this one character from 13 Ghosts and I looked at it and I was like, I'm going to be an effects artist. That's okay. it. Yep, I'm doing that's this. It. Done deal. Where's my contract? <laughs> yeah, basically that's what it was like. I was like nine and I was like, oh my God, I had the flu. I was sick at home with the flu and I fell asleep with the TV on and I woke up. And if you've ever seen 13 Ghosts, then you know the yeah, Jack. Yeah. yeah. The jackal with the cage on his head. I actually have oh, a tattoo yeah. now. Yeah. There you go. But um, yeah, he just, I woke up, saw that, and I was like, wow, I am terrified. But also, that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my I'm life. Shit, but I'm going to watch that. I'm gonna yeah. Do that. That's it. That's incredible, be. incredible artist. So. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, well, this, is, this is one that, if you were, all right, if you had the chance to sit down, and have dinner with a celebrity, who would it be? <laughs> celebrity. Okay. Does he count as a celebrity? You already know who I'm gonna say. Does he count? <laughs> Does he I count? Mean, actually, yeah, I guess technically, yeah. Like I just like came right in the sports world. Yeah, I mean, I guess in the skate kind of division, Carlos Lastra. Shout out Carlos Lasha if y'all if you see this. Notice me. <laughs> Please follow me. <laughs> Please hello. But um him, body arts my toys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> right. Just saying. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah. So no. either him or um now Rio, Rio so like, really legit. Have you seen him? Jack Black. Jack Black. Jack Black. Jack yeah. Black, if you watch this out there. Just, just now. <laughs> yeah, yeah for oh, sure. I will be your artist. <laughs> Please, hello. Yeah. What, um, what's probably the best life tip you've ever gotten? Mm. That's like almost inspirational for life. Hmm. Okay, so... It was kind of a weird thing. I'm trying to figure out how I could word it to where it makes sense because I suck at wording things. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, um, the best bit of, inf of of advice I've ever gotten was the way that other people 
take what you say or perceive you is none of your business. Interesting. Yeah. And I kind of go by that. Thanks, whatever, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, if I say no, thank you, and you take offense to that, that's none of my business. That's right. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, part. Yeah. As also, do. self-care is super important. Yeah. That's that's a truth. Yeah. I must have self-care. The people that don't have self-care, it's like, yeah, wish you luck. I'm just saying. Yeah, just sadly. Um, what are some future goals of yours that you want to like get done with like 10 years from now? Um, I definitely want to be able to teach more people That's the awesome. art of effects makeup. Um that's actually been like a long-term something that I've been thinking about for a really long time is being able to have like a course that people can take and they'll learn everything from A to Z. Um, Yeah. Which, you know, you'll be able to work with brushes, sponges, airbrush and silicone, latex, foam latex, everything. Every single aspect of SFX makeup. All of that. Yeah. Hey, you can go on masterclass. You know, I mean, hey, uh, virtual is the future. I'm just saying, but it really is. Look at us right now. We're, we're this is virtual, and hell, there it, you can actually literally spread it to the world because I'm sure yeah. there are people are subscribing to that right now. What are what would you say, pet peeves? Makeup wise, or uh, this can be like okay. All right, all right. I got a good one. If you are not a makeup artist, do not hashtag your stuff. Makeup artist. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. Huge pet peeve. Okay. <laughs> um, also, please yourself of being a makeup artist. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the thing that I, the only reason that that's become like a huge pet peeve of mine is because you could be really good at makeup but in order to be a makeup artist, yeah. you have to know all of the bases. You have to know mm. color theory. You have to know shapes of faces. You have to know, you know, the difference between, you know, the, the different kinds of silicones. You need to know what you're doing from A to Z. There's no like, you know, oh, yeah, I know how to do this kind of. Um, yeah. I'm all for yeah. like you try people of course you have to try different techniques and find ones that work for you and you know trying out different things but until you master your artistry which we're all striving to do but until you know all of the all of the basics all of the bases and people are paying you don't don't hashtag makeup artist please just don't (laughs) just don't and all master skateboarder you can't even do a kickflip yeah i mean but that it's like the one thing that people kind of real don't realize is that if you hashtag something makeup artist or you call yourself a makeup artist if you get hired to do a job Mm -hmm. and you go and you do a job and you don't know what you're doing you could give that person an infection you could give that person you know if your brushes aren't cleaned properly you have to know how to sanitize your kit like there's a lot of things what you have to know how to do before you should even consider yourself, you know. I like the same thing as, I mean, imagine like saying, well, I'm a doctor. You don't yeah. know anything. Exactly. Like, oh, yeah, I just perform surgery and die. You're yeah. not a doctor, though. I know, but it should be fine. What? Yeah, it's, it's just not. It's, like, it's just, if you don't know how to do it, just don't claim it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, there's there's a lot of issues with that you know it's like you know you can be really good at makeup on yourself yeah. but putting it on somebody else is a completely different story and yeah it's it's not it's not you can cool. tattoo yourself you tattoo somebody else that becomes a liability exactly it's the same yeah. concept you know same concept, like yep but you screw it up they're like are you a tattoo artist no i do it for fun <laughs> yeah it's like, uh, it's like um if i'm paying you for a service you better know what you're doing you know 
Yeah. Cool. Awesome. And that, um, well, that's baby. Uh, what tips would you give to all the up and coming artists out there? That Practice are- all of the techniques that you can. Practice everything. It's- everything any technique that you can find that works for you practice it master it and and keep going you know it's it's so important that you just practice and do your research um make sure you know the different types of like um infections diseases if that's the route that you're going make sure you know anatomy if you're going to be doing effects makeup um if you're going to be doing you know beauty makeup make sure you know how to sanitize your kit make sure that you know all of that it's a really big broad story think about it damn yeah there a lot of people sit there and they're like oh yeah you're a makeup artist that's cool you just go and put some makeup on people and it's like no i was literally sitting in my apartment one day for 14 days <laughs> one day for 14 days literally two weeks I was sitting on my apartment floor pouring mm-hmm. gelatin into sausage casing to make intestines because intestines are like 20 feet long yeah they are yeah wow. two yeah. weeks yeah Damn, two weeks. And I cried, yeah, the whole time. I was just on the floor pouring gelatin into sausage casing, crying. And I also had to make fake vomit. And it was... Fake vomit. Yeah, yeah, it was gross. And um, yeah, if I if I didn't do my research and was like, okay, this is exactly how this anatomy works, you know, I can't consider myself, you know... A professional. Can you make an actual clone of yourself? I mean, I I can. <laughs> Not like a working clone, but I can, you know, take a life cast. Uh, like you, you could put it in the front lawn or something. You'd be like, hey, Victoria. <laughs> just stand there. Just <laughs> and you put it, what you do is you put a little voice box on it. Oh my <laughs> God, that'd be so creepy. Get away from my house. <laughs> Get off of my lawn. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey there, honey. Ooh, damn. If you're not Carlos Lostra, get off. (laughs) Get out. Get on and come to the back. Come to the back. (laughs) Welcome. If you are, I have a ramp in the back for you. (laughs) Wow. Kyle, you're listening out there. Hashtag Carlos Lostra. Oh, my God. No. No, No, it's me. (laughs) My phone number is no. It starts with a five six one, sir. Whatever. You know what? Is it my only dude with a nine five four number and five six one? Here you go. Probably, honestly. Probably. No, it's okay. Right here. Right here. <laughs> so to close this out, that was fun. Um, yeah, we gave everybody tips on there. So make sure to check Corey out on Corey out on Instagram. Um, hey, I'll put a link in the description. It was fun. Always. Always check out her work at you can probably see a lot of her work if you go to Enigma Hunt and check out all the actors. Yeah, definitely come through to Enigma. COVID is I we don't know how this is gonna you know, work. COVID, but um, whatever it does open up. Fingers crossed for all of the haunts in the yeah. US that we're able to open because damn. It's hats it's off for those guys. I mean yeah. I mean, I mean, I think it's possible. It just depends on how you set up the experience. That's all I'm saying. Right. Yeah. You can technically do, you know, I mean, even if you put glass in front and yeah. people, you, the actors come to the glass and it's kind of enclosed, it'll still scare somebody. Yeah. I would think so that you don't really have to like, expose the actor into the person you can just literally create plexiglass walls all the way around yeah. each area That'd be they just come close and be like Ugh. you know like all they do is scream and Ugh. yeah you want to put all of the plexiglass everywhere sure if it, if it, i mean as it'd be an interesting design i would i mean that would be really fun. cool that place is huge though yeah i'm it's saying for all the hound houses out there i mean i'm sure Probably Disney can figure some shit out with all their technology they got. I guarantee you. 
They Disney probably won't have actors on the on the. Well, got the resources. Yep. But yeah, yeah we're really, really hoping for the best here. We want to have an awesome Halloween season. So everybody, wear your masks. Please, Please. wear the mask. Wear your masks. Save Halloween. Seriously, wear the mask because we're Florida's at the epicenter right now. We just kidding. yeah, we are in the butthole of the COVID. Everyone's looking at us like. <laughs> we. Close and and China and everybody's doing well now because they follow the rules. Yeah. Everybody have to just follow the rules, stay home. Unless you have to work. You have to work. Just wear yeah. masks. I have to work. I have to and work. stay away from people as much as you can for right now. No, no, don't go to bars. Don't go to parties. You can't go to bars because they close. A lot of things you want to do is go to a party. So yeah. Why? <laughs> have a virtual freaking party. Netflix party. That's why it exists. Oh my god. Messenger room. Do a messenger. It's not have a beer in the hand. That's all you really need. So that's true. That's very true. Stay safe until the next rat talks. It's real. <laughs>